going to be taking a look at the ScanSnap iX500 powered with Neat. Uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing, taking a look at the contents of what comes with the scanner. And then we're going to take a look at how to get started with the ScanSnap iX500 and Neat. Alright, uh, so the first thing we're going to come across is an, a notice to Windows users about the, the uh, 3.0 USB port. So if you have a Windows computer that has one of those ports, you want to take a look at this. Uh, then we have the ScanSnap iX500 Getting Started Guide. Uh, so this is just going to also go over the contents of what's in the box and is a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get started with your scanner. Alright, then we have another box here. And this box is going to contain our USB port. Uh, this port's going to go from the computer to the scanner. We have our, um, our power cable here. This is going to be the part that plugs into the wall. Then we have our very important neat activation pin. Uh, you definitely want to keep track of this paper. You don't want to lose this. Um, I would say put this in your important pile. This is going to help you get started with Neat and ScanSnap. So I'm just going to put this over here. Then we have our ScanSnap manual. Uh, the manual comes with the disk so that you can install your drivers. Uh, you have two options to install those drivers. You can either install them using the disk or you can go directly to Fujitsu's website, which is http colon forward slash forward slash scansnap.fujitsu.com. So you have a couple of options that way. So I'm just gonna place this here. Um, so everything that comes with the scanner is going to be, again, your very important neat activation pin. Definitely don't wanna lose this. We have our ScanSap scanner. All of the, the cables we need to, to plug it in and get power to it, and then our manuals that'll help us to get started. Um, so now we're going to move over to our computer and take a look at what it's like to get started with the scanner. All right, uh, so now we're over here at our computer and we're going to take a quick look at how we can get started with the ScanSnap iX500 with Neat. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do to get started is you're going to want to install your ScanSnap manager and your ScanSnap drivers. Um, and you could do this, uh, like I said, during the unboxing, um, either through the disc that's provided to you with the scanner, or you can go to Fujitsu's website here at scansnap.fujitsu.com, um, select your scanner, uh, select your operating system, and then install your drivers that way. Once your ScanSnap manager and your drivers have been installed, then you're going to find that uh, important neat pin activation card that we were talking about earlier. Um, that card is going to direct you to go to www.neat.com forward slash Fujitsu. And here you're going to enter your pin number, which is provided to you on the card and all of your account information. And then you're going to get neat. All right, and then uh, after you activate your account, it's going to bring you to this page here where you can download the Neat software. So that's going to be step three. Um, and we're just going to click here to download. All right, and once that file has been downloaded, you can go ahead and double click on it to install the Neat software. Make sure you finish the on-screen instructions to register your Neat software with the ScanSnap iX500. Um, you need to do that before you do your first scan. Once you've done that, uh, you are ready to start scanning with your scanner to need.